what is going on guys welcome back to another video so it has been four weeks since i sterilized the the media and the magenta boxes using the uv sterilizer from my lamina flow hood if you haven't seen the results make sure to check the other videos on the uv sterilization anyways um i go i still have a two magenta boxes that I still look relatively clean there was no contamination uh the one with gel and gum was uh, a little Oh, it has, it has probably a little bit of bacteria. Right? But anyways, um, two weeks ago, I placed uh, some plants, identical plants, uh, Drosera capillaris, in those magenta boxes. And they've been in, in this uh, box, uh, light box, you, uh, and they are being recorded using a time-lapse camera. So, like I said, it's been two weeks, and I think it's time to check on the results. All right, so here are the plants. So this is the box uh, with the gel and gum. And the plants look fine. They look healthy, as you can see. Uh, the media is very cloudy, um, which it was similar to what we had before. But now we have this little point right here, and that is contamination. So that is uh, some fungus that is going on in there. And if I go like this, you can clearly see some of the contamination starting to, to grow right under the plants. So this is gel and gum, well, plants growing in gel and gum. Um, I don't think the gel and gum or the agar has to do anything with it. They can be sterilized or not using the UV light. I think this was just something that it was my fault where I didn't um, I didn't prepare the gel and gum properly to where it actually didn't go, it didn't solidify as well as I wanted. Um, gel and gum, it should be completely crystal clear and that didn't happen. So I may have to do another experiment with gel and gum uh, once again. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the one with agar because this one is actually very exciting. There is absolutely no contamination whatsoever looks very clean no bacteria or fungus nothing at all you can see the it's very clean plant looks very good they're starting to grow once again there is some dead plants in there but that was from from before so anyways i think this is pretty much everything I still want to keep the plants growing in the um, uh, in the light box. Uh, I still have the time lapse camera. I have more plants growing in there. That's for another experiment. So I just want to put these uh, magenta boxes back in place. Um, I want to put the magenta boxes back in place. Uh, let it record for maybe another month or so until they either get contaminated or they just completely take over the the magenta boxes. So I think that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. And then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.